going to be talking about the sardine, probably the most anticipated species along the whole coast. Uh, scientific name Sardinops sajax. Uh, very, very similar to sort of your red eye sardine. It's a part of the clupeoid family, but basically it's a longish silvery fish with a bluey green kind of top and then your black dots along the, along the lateral line area. Probably a fish that almost everyone's come into contact, whether you've eaten a can of Lucky Star or whether you've fished for shad or whether you've actually been a part of the sardine run, you at some point would have come across these, these fish. They are planktonic filter feeders, so their gill rakers, the set up in the gills itself that hold the gills up, are designed to filter plankton and anything sort of floating in the water. They they open their mouth and they swim along and they filter that through into their into their gills and then they can eat that. So they don't actually chase after little fish, but they they filter fish out of the water. They are a very very important prey fish as in a lot of fish rely on them for food. So any of your predatory fish uh, will eat a sardine. They are full of oils. That's why they're extremely good for us to eat. The omega-3, omega-6, I think they've also got in them. Um, but very good uh, fish to eat for yourself, for your hair, skin, nails, all that kind of usual health stuff. Um, in terms of when we get them here, they, they spawn off the, a gullis bank during summer. So now the gullis bank is located off of Cape Town in essence. It's a large, uh, shallowish, shallowish uh, region of water that's very productive for them. Uh, plankton and anything else gets uplifted on the edge, provides them with lots of food, a nice happy area for them to breathe. So now that's during summer and in winter, cold water allows them to push all the way up along the KZN coast and that's where we get the what they call the sardine run which is basically just a large mass of sardines i mean we're talking luckily if we can um, if we do get lucky enough they they're going to be gigantic shoals of these sides now we're talking bigger than our shop here um, size mass of sides uh, as the main school and then all the little schools the little pockets of sides will come up along with them um, yeah, so that's during winter, and the main ingredient for that is a place called Waterfall Bluff in the Trans Sky, it's sort of the, the pinch point. If the water temperature there drops below 20 degrees, so ideally around about 19 degrees, then the sardines are allowed to move through that little channel and move up along the coast. If the water temperature doesn't drop below 20, unfortunately it closes off and the sardines actually get pushed out to sea. And then they stay in the deep, so we still get the run coming up, but they don't come close enough to get washed out or pushed out onto the shore. So we still get a sardine run, but you don't actually get the sardines coming onto the beach. Now, once you get that cold water, the fish have pushed up, they get pushed in really nice and close, then your, your sharks, your dolphins, and all your big game fish actually push the sards right out onto the beach. And that's when the same netters can go and actually put the net around and pull the sardines in. In terms of how to catch them yourself, you do get them on your zuris every now and again. Um, but like we mentioned earlier, they're filter feeders, they're not really going after specific little bits, but they might get into a feeding um, frenzy or into a feeding melee kind of thing when they're in the area with other fish feeding. Um, yeah, so otherwise, you're only really going to encounter them during the sardine run, and then you can go about it with a seine net of sorts. You have to have a permit to do this, and there are only very few that are, are let out that are allowed to actually seine net the, uh, the sardines and then otherwise a cast net if you cast net around where the guys are pulling the nets out not in the net themselves the guys will get ticked off with you then you are likely to get some nice nice sardines those are absolutely deadly for bait the ones up here have got uh, it's almost a firmer flesh than when you get them down in the cape but yeah they're very very good to eat if you either just put them into masala and deep fry them otherwise if you uh, butterfly them up again, put a bit of olive oil and grill them. They are absolutely delicious. And then yeah, otherwise if you want, pack them. Uh, they freeze extremely well because of the high oil content. And yeah, they're very, very good for, for bait for the whole year. So when the sardine run does come about, get your sides out, pack them nicely, get them ready, and you have bait for the whole year. So yeah, guys, this is uh, very, very interesting fish. There have been quite a lot of research done on them. Um, but yeah, there's still quite a lot of mystery around 
when they're going to be here, if they're going to be here. So yeah, we'll hope this year that we, we do get a big run. But if we don't, it's just that the water temperature is too warm, but it's looking promising at the moment. So let's, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that we get a big run of these uh, little silvery fish. Sardinop Sajaks. Cheers, guys.